Good afternoon, designers, and welcome to episode 164 of Game of Rugs. Last week, I asked you to make the content, and you did. You sent in an absolute shit ton of rooms, and we're not going to be able to get to them all because we don't have a shit ton of time. However, we're going to get to as many as we can in this episode, and we're going to answer the perennial design home question, why did this room not score as well as you hoped it would? Or I hoped it would, as you can tell from my score, which is currently not great. Most of my rooms are not scoring as well as I hoped they would. So the first room we have is this room submitted by Juniper Hart. The challenge was sparkling in Antofagasta. I do not know where Antofagasta is. Perhaps it's in Portugal. Um, this room got a 3.78, which is soul crushing. Like regardless of the reason that you got a 3.78, at the end of the day, you put forth what you think is your best effort. You send the room in and you, you know, you may not be hoping for a five, but you get back a room score below a four and it's a kick in the teeth. So what I will say about this room is that this was a limited edition week. The limited edition was the teal and orange items. I can't remember what that limited release was called. Um, and so when you look at the orange of the fireplace, and, and I use the term orange here charitably, it's it's a disgusting shade of, I, I don't even know what that is, it's, it's awful. Um, and then you look at the, um, so we have a very brown orange, and then it's been paired with these yellow chairs, which are also very, very brown. And then we have two brown ottomans. And then we have gone for a pure white sofa, which um, even if you were going, if even if we decided that, that brown tones were the way to go here, that that sofa then doesn't go. Even an off-white sofa would have been better. And um, we win a lot of those, so there should be some in, uh, available in inventory. Um, and then there's no rug. And even if you're not going for a five, because you're just trying to use what's available in your inventory, you can tell it's very rare for a room without a rug to get a five. Um, so that tells you that voters like rugs. And there's no rug in here. So given the choice between this room in voting, given the choice between this room and a room with a rug, that's going to kill your score. And that is why I think that room did not do well. All right, next room, the perfect panels. This room got a 4.08, I think. This room was a daily. So as far as I'm concerned, this room is absolutely perfect. I cannot imagine what's going wrong. So I even went and looked up the rooms that got fives. Your room was so much better than mine, just, just for a start. Um, yeah. But I think that a lot of the rooms went with that orange, which I think was unfortunate. I think that a lot of these rooms played on the sand color rather than the black color. I don't know. But it was a daily, so it was super competitive. 
And I mean, a lot, this is a nice room. These are nice rooms. I just think your room was better. I think your room is, is as good as this room. I don't know. I think it probably, given the very, very high standard of entry for this room, I think that at the end of the day, the problem with the room that you submitted, that you used outdoor furniture, I think at the end of the day, you got screwed by do not use outdoor furniture indoors. And that's all I have there. Okay, the next room we're doing is Jenny's room, a wellness welcome, which got a 4.19. This is a very old room. Um, I had to really dig to find it. It was from January of 2020. So I actually can't find, I don't think I participated in this room. I can't find what rooms got fives. But looking at this room, what I can immediately say is that um, the furniture in this room is invisible. It's invisible. It's the same color as the concrete wall. And this room needed a lot of light furniture, like cream couches and chairs and a, a green rug to go to pull it all together with the green art on the wall hanging. Um, you have to remember that people who are voting for your room are voting in literally a split second. And so if this room comes up against any other room where anything pops, like it's using white sofas or cream sofas or a, and a green rug to provide a lot of contrast, this room is not going to be chosen against those rooms. And, and, and fundamentally, that's, that's the problem there. Okay, the next room is Jenny with a gentle afternoon light, which is a kid's room, which is my least favorite kind of room. Um, this is also a, a an old room. I think this is also from January of this year. And uh, I don't think that it was a limited edition week. I think it was a, a free play week. Uh, so in weeks where there isn't limited edition releases, there's a lot more scope for designing rooms that you love without trying to cope with the limited edition problem. However, the issue with this room is the curtains are coral red. It's a red and not an orange, um, but you went with an orange theme. And it's a super cute room if you don't look at the curtains. Like it's very well, it's really, really well coordinated. Like the wood on the cribs, the same tone as the wood on the side table and the dresser and at the bottom of the white chair and on the adorable side table. And like your lions are so cute with your rug and your kid art is the perfect choice and it's a really good room except it doesn't go with the curtains so when given the choice of this room up against another room in voting this room would not have scored as well consistently but I will also say that a 4.24 is a perfectly fine score and I wouldn't be too depressed about it, but if you want to know why it didn't score better, it, it it's the fact that the curtains are not the same color as the the rest of your room. Okay, next up is Chad with Modern Hong Kong Design. And this room scored a 3.93, which is like, ouch. Um... This room was a daily from about three weeks ago. So it's it's just going to be competitive and it's going to suck. Um, this was a room during 
or shortly after a limited edition that was navy and pink um, and the problem with this room is twofold the choice of furniture with the black legs to go with the black light sconce and ceiling perfect really good choice in the chest of drawers the ottoman is the wrong shade of white um, and yes it makes a difference and also you don't really get a hall pass for that because you can buy one of those super plain round ottomans for like $236 you don't have to spend diamonds so that's okay um, and then I know that this is a sort of feedback that makes people go Jesus I've had enough with this game this is ridiculous but your wall art is rose color it's like slightly orange and not so pink and honestly I think that's that is the problem the choice of rug is fine uh, but if you so if you fix the art and use this rug I think you would have gotten over a four if you wanted to bump the room up more than that I would have used a different pink rug with more contrast and yeah that means spending diamonds probably um, but the, the reality is that in this particular challenge it is a daily so it's going to be very competitive and a lot of people are limited edition dumping so you know what can you do I do I do think that a 3.93 is is painful and I'm sorry that this happened but that is also uh, my my reasoning for why okay next we have Megan with Cozy and Casper she got a 3.92 I, I am I am flattered by the fact that all of you are, are trusting me with your rejected children okay we have a lot of super strong points this rug was an amazing choice for this room amazing it has the blue and the um, white and it has the super dark blue for contrast it's almost black it's the perfect rug for this room well done and I totally see where you are going with the super cute pitched roof bed to go with the pitched roof dormer over the bed and you get like a million points for creativity and thoughtful design but also if you want to know why this room didn't score well it's because you chose this bed and decided not to put art behind it and and that's 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 the reason um, you also don't have a plant so if I'm in if you I'm looking at this room in voting and I see the super cute direction that you are going in but you're up against other rooms that have art and plants I'm voting for the other room and that that's pretty much it um, also the art that you did put on the right wall is fine but considering the fact that you're not using wood tones in the design I don't know but it that, that, that is a tertiary concern the real problem here is the art and the plant and that's 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 how that one worked okay next up is Mikey with fame and finesse Mikey got a 4.45 dude what are you doing hanging out here and why didn't my room score well a 4.45 is like a, a really good score so what's the problem here oh okay uh, so you want to know why when you did this exquisite perfectly matching a hundred percent coordinated room did you not get a five which looking at this room it's a fair fucking question why 
and I can only come up with two things. One, and, and remember people are looking at these rooms in literally the blink of an eye when they're making their voting decisions. Uh, so one, it looks like you didn't use a plant. I know you did, but I had to really hunt for it. It's, it's pretty invisible against the wall. Do I have a suggestion for a better plant that you could have used? No. No, I do not. Um, and the other thing is, I, this is, this, and this is a ball breaker. My memory is shit, but I am fairly certain that this is stuff from an older limited edition and that the limited edition that was released during this week was the light pink and navy and gold limited edition. Maybe. Maybe. Um, and so let's pretend that's true. So what can happen is if you use an out of date limited edition, usually that scores so well, like people are just wowed by the room because they haven't seen this stuff in a long time. It's super fresh. They really like it. Um, maybe not in this, maybe it was the wrong limited edition and people were not like down to see that. I don't, I don't really know. And if, if that is not relevant because I have my limited editions confused or I don't know what's going on because this was about five weeks old, then 100% it's the plant. Okay, next up is the exquisitely named basic white woman with lovely Leeds estate from a couple of weeks ago. It's not that old. Does that mean I can remember it? Fuck no. My brain is Swiss cheese at this point. It's really great. Uh, I think a 4.03 is harsh for this room, but I will say uh, it goes, it, it, it surpasses basic and creeps into bland. This room is incredibly bland. Like everything is just an, a neutral color. It's all neutral. All of it is various shades of neutral brown. There is no focal point. And if you were gonna go this way, which is fine, I would have used a different rug, any other rug, maybe a green rug, like look out the window, the color cues green. That's all I've got. Okay, next up we have Birdsong with Fame and Finesse. This room got a 4.0, which is always a weird score to get. It's like you suck, but not that badly. Uh, problem with this room is there's no blue. Color cue is pink from the feature wall on the left, blue from the drapes on the right, Clearly, this room is asking for pink and blue decoration, and uh, you went with brown and um, brown, brown and, and and neutral. Could this room have been saved? I mean, I was kind of thinking like if you put in a different rug, but not really. This is an excellent room. You have put together an excellent set of things that you have put into this room. Like the art is fine with the, it's the, the art is a good choice with these furnishings and the furnishings are all well coordinated. Um, the Ottomans are like slightly the wrong color, but nobody cares. It's a very, very close. And the coffee table goes really well with the stuff and the sideboard that you've chosen. You just put this arrangement of furniture in the wrong room. That's it. It's as simple as that. It's a, it's, you did a nice job for a different room. 
and I think that if you had put this stuff, the exact same stuff, into a different room, you would have scored much better. It was just the wrong choice of stuff for this room, which wanted pink and blue. And that is all we have time for. Thank you to everyone who sent in a room. I'm sorry that we didn't have time to get to all of them and I realized that I did accidentally double up on a couple of people so my apologies if we didn't get to a room that you submitted. If we did get to a room that you submitted thank you so much for entrusting me with your unloved children in Design Home. I hope that this feedback has been useful and if uh, different segments came across as ending abruptly or sounding harsh, that was not my intention, but I'm also not very good at editing all of these clips together. Um, in any case, if you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up, and if you would like to become a subscriber, we would love to have you. Bye now!